Hi guys, welcome back to Fragments of a Simple Life where every video I make is super simple. I'm gonna try not to rush this video, but I do have approximately 30 minutes to make it before I have to go pick up my kids from school. Anyways, um, as you could tell by the title of the video, this is going to be an unboxing of journal supplies that I bought on Amazon. Um, this is just one box. The rest is packages, if you can hear. They're kind of crinkly. Um, nothing actually came in a shipping box. They all came in like shipping packages. So I took all the supplies out that I purchased on Amazon of the shipping packages because those are extra loud. And um, I'm just going to go through everything that I bought. And I'm sorry if I'm being loud. I'm in my dining room and in it's a new house, so it's kind of echoey, but I'm using my little uh, news anchor microphone, so hopefully that helps. But anyways, this is a box of 360 sheets, vintage sheets. Um, anyone curious as to what I'm going to show? Um, this is junk journaling supplies, or I guess you could say like cottage core journaling. It's where you take pieces of stuff that's old and new. You could also call it vintage journaling um, um, and it's basically just decoupage onto a journal sheet like in a journal um, and then you can add an entry or you can write song lyrics. I'm probably going to write my poetry and transfer my poetry into it, into the pages I create, but I've never done journaling like this before and I wanted to really like give it a try. So let's open this box. That's it. <laughs> so I will make videos where I um, use this stuff as well. There's going to be lots of crinkles. Okay, so we have lots of little individual packages. Um, I should have turned on my dining room light. I'm sorry, guys. But this is Cottage Garden, 60 pieces, like little squares of paper. You can see all the, like, texture. It almost looks, like, wrinkled on, pur on purpose. But there's 60 pieces in there. That's one. We also have... I can't read it. This is same cottage garden do they all say cottage garden i guess that's like the brand but this is like lined paper almost like graph paper so decoupage what you would do is you like you would take a if you don't know <laughs> i'm sure i'm saying stuff that everyone knows but you would take a page out of your journal and you would layer these to make like decoration and then you would find a little empty spot and you would write, or you can add like a real picture if you like went on vacation or something. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, just look up vintage journaling, junk journaling, or cottage core journaling, and you'll be able to find it. People have YouTube pages like dedicated to this, so I'm just getting started though. Ooh, these ones are pretty. Yeah, I guess Cottage Garden is just the brand, you guys. Look at these ones. Is that a letter A? I don't even know what that is. Isn't that pretty though? It almost looks like a ripped piece of paper, but it's not. Wow, there's all different kinds in here. Now the big crinkle, sorry. Oh, look, this like little postage. Look, it says, it says uh, place a postage stamp here. You don't really have to, but it's like a little envelope. There's some kind of words on this one. All of these are 60 pieces. I need something to like organize it all in, huh? There's two more. Mm, this one got stuck. Oh, this is pretty too. Looks like there's some greens and pastels. This almost looks like a pressed like leaf or something, but it's not. Isn't that cool? Looks like there's some other shades of pink inside, but I can't really see. But 
I'm gonna make a video where I probably open up all of these and like spread them out and like make some pages. I could probably make a dozen videos making just journal pages without actually journaling. <gasps> this is the best one. Oh my gosh, look at the detail. So this like purple with like tiny, tiny flowers. My nail polish is all messed up. I painted my nails and I took my son to school <laughs> and it got messed up while driving. That's pretty. It's leaves, but on camera, it almost looks like caterpillars. The brown one's pretty. I have a cup like that. And then up here, you can kind of see there's like other shades. See inside? That's so pretty. Blues and greens and floral prints. So we have one, two, three, and we have four, five, and six. So we have six packages and every one has 60 different pieces of paper to like decoupage and decorate the pages with. That's incredible. I don't remember how much it was, but again, like I said, if you look up vintage journaling supplies or just regular journaling supplies or cottage core junk journaling supplies, anything like that, any of those terms, you'll find um, supplies. Let me see if I can scoot that out of frame a little more. Okay, the next one we have is more decor paper. I'm sure this is from China, Japan. This just has all different kinds of little pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to peel this off. Oh, I will. See, I didn't open it at all, you guys, so. And this has like smaller pieces. Should I just dump it? I guess I'll just dump it. I'm gonna make a mess. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's tiny pieces. Look, 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 these are stickers, oh my gosh. Hold on, there's some in here still. Look. It says notice. Look how cute. There's a couple more pieces in there, and then this is like a, like a translucent sticker. Like, you can't tell, but if you look in the back, see how it's like kind of clear? Cause when you peel it off it's a translucent sticker of a butterfly but it looks like a butterfly made out of paper anyways you guys i'm sorry i had to stop and start again because where i live i'm near an air force base so i'm not too far away and they also do air shows so let me try again look at this flower this is a sticker there's a whole bunch of stickers look at this one there's different kinds of butterflies too. Look at the flower. Isn't it gorgeous, you guys? But all of these, all of these are stickers. Look, there's so many. Look how pretty, pretty, pretty. This one, you could do like little bullet writing. Look, it's a sticker, but you can write on it. There's like little mushrooms. Isn't it cute? Okay, I'm trying to like Look at all the stickers. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a mess. I mean, it's just so cute. Like on the corner of a page for decoration. I'm trying to see. Oh, look at the mushrooms. It's so cute. Like little pieces of nature. Look, all of these are stickers. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to like brush it off. Okay, here we go. Here's another one of the notice ones. And then these are just like little pieces of paper. See, like you can like, like glue these down and you can like write something inside. Isn't it cool? Just like all this like vintage inspired, like cool stuff. What is this? Seize today, don't believe tomorrow. <laughs> That's so cool. Isn't it cool? And you can just write like little notes. Here's some more see but you take stuff like this like look at this cool page you take stuff like this and then a piece of paper like that and you would like layer it like that right and then you would take like one of these and put it underneath it kind of like this and then you would like write the date on this or whatever you wanted 
just all kinds of like really neat stuff what else is in here wow look how like look how pretty these pages are see it already starts the decoupage layering process for you it's like printed like that so it takes out some of the work and you can make the coolest pages look at this stuff in here oh my gosh what are these it says beautiful things hold on you guys i gotta get this closer to my face <laughs> i shall i have no idea i need help i need my daughter but look how pretty pine cones miracles happen every day look oh these are upside down look the date isn't that cute oh my gosh this is a mess 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 oh look at these pages look it has like little notes wait i have it upside down i need that little notes and like the butterfly look how cute the butterfly is aren't they pretty oh look at this one look at this one isn't it cool so you just layer all these goodies onto a page and leave enough space for you to write or to add a picture of something cool you did that day. This is a mess. Oh my gosh. This is a mess, a big mess. We're gonna push it, push it, push it. <laughs> I did not clean that up at all. Package is right there. I just pushed it. Okay, the next thing I got, um, I got like the most purchased like pens. Um, on Amazon so these are when you when I looked up uh, journaling pens this is what I found this is what came up so I'm gonna take the plastic off I haven't opened these at all oh that's loud I'm sorry guys but let's go give it a try oh my gosh hold on I have scissors I have scissors just for this Because I knew some stuff was going to be loud. Okay. So yeah, I looked up journaling markers. And this one came up um, as like the most purchased. This brand. Or literally this package. Had like 26,000 purchases. With like a, I don't know, five and a half star review. But look down here. Look at all the colors. Can we just talk about it? It says there's ocean green, cobalt green, sap green, magenta, pale yellow. Uh, I think it says cadmium yellow. Is that how you say that word? I don't know. Pink, orange, cadmium red, purple, violet, crimson. Um, it doesn't say aquamarine. It says ultramarine. <laughs> so ultramarine blue, lake blue raw sienna which is like brown mars black burnt sienna which is like dark brown and then natural gray so i don't have um what should i call it let's pick like a bright color nope not that one <laughs> that's not what i meant to grab i meant to grab this one so i don't have paper oh wait hold on hold on this is like the little thank you card from the company that makes the markers. I'm just gonna try it out. Let's just try it out. Ooh. It's nice. It writes really pretty. Very pretty. Very thin and pretty. Isn't that nice? Cool. And look how small the tip is. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So I could do a whole video with this too, where I just write with these uh, pens and try out all the colors. That sounds like a fun video. I might do that. Trying out new uh, pen colors. Anyways, so 18, like every shade of the rainbow. Totally ready to journalize. Okay, here's another package of just like goodies. 
I just got all the vintage goodies I could. I actually don't know what this brown thing is. It looks like something to keep it in. I'm not really sure. Oh no, this one, little one on top is stuck. That's my fault. There we go. Okay, ooh, ooh, look how pretty. I need like a shoe box. So we have this one that was right on top. We have this one that looks almost like a knit. See like the stitching down the side? It's not really there, obviously. Oh, we have some smaller, like, oh, like little tags. Look, they're hole punched in everything. So you can add a tag to your page. Look how beautiful. I don't know what any of these flowers are. That is not my forte, but you know. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at, these are upside down, hold on. Isn't that pretty? This has like information about flowers. Do you see it? And then we have this one with a little B or something. Ignore my bad nail polish, you guys. I apologize, it's so gross. Oh wait, there we go. That's my favorite, that's pretty. Okay, and then we have these, which I think are all stickers. So I think that's like some sort of fern. We have another sticker. Oh, look at the daisy. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and then look, this one has some of the translucent stickers too. You can see that. Isn't that pretty? And then we have, oh, like a postcard. It's like a really um, beautiful postcard. Isn't that nice? It says Malta Post Office. Another like postcard. I think this one's supposed to go this way. Isn't that pretty though? Look at all the little details, all the little stamps and stuff. And then this is, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Just something cool. This one's not a sticker. It's really thick. Those are almost, those are like really like postcard material. They're pretty thick. And then here's the twine. That's for the little tags. Isn't that cute? So you can really, and then these are stickers that you cut out yourself as you, as you want. So like the back. You can't see it really, but it's a sticker material so you can like peel it and then you cut off which flower you want to use, like cut around it and then you um, would peel the, the back of it off. Isn't that cool? And they have it again, same idea, but this one has like leaves. This is very fall vibes. Like I think that's like eucalyptus or something and like a dry like dying flower of some kind. And then here's some more. So you do the same thing. You'd like, if I wanted to use this one, I just get scissors, cut that out, and then peel off the back and then just use that sticker. Or you could peel off the whole entire thing and lay the whole thing down, I guess. And then just some pieces of paper for background use, different kinds of uh, plant descriptions. Lavender, old-fashioned, sweet, a well-known, sweet-scented, hardy perennial bearing long spikes of blue flowers. This one's pretty. All kinds of stuff about flowers I don't know. And then this, this has to be like a thing that you fold to like contain it. Yeah, like see how it has like the lines so you can fold it down and then put all the stuff inside of it. This must be a holder like for this stuff. That's my assumption. I don't think you're actually supposed to like put this part in the journal. I think it becomes like a little envelope basically. Fold down the top and the bottom and then you can put the stuff inside and it's secure. But I think I might just get like a shoe box. And then the last thing, hold on. Let me get this like really out of the way. Because I wanted to show you one last thing before I have to go um, pick up my kids from school. Ew, my nail polish is so gross. <laughs> it's the journal. How am I going to make this junk journal 
you know, vintage journal without a vintage journal, right? So I got like a leather bound vintage journal. Is it real leather? I doubt it, but I don't really know. All right, this is gonna be crinkly. There's like no delicate way to do it. I'm so excited. Okay. Literally just threw the trash on the ground. Here it is. Look how beautiful. It has like a twine type wrap and it just tucks into itself. I'm going to like, maybe it goes this way because I'm right handed, huh? And like it opens like that. Look at the side. Look at the detailing on the side. Isn't that beautiful? It's so beautiful. It's actually twine. Do you see? Isn't that gorgeous? Like holding all the pages together. Okay, here we go. Let's see what these pages look like. Oh, it is real leather. Oh, it's real leather. Oh, I kind of feel bad. Is that bad that it's real leather, you guys? I don't know. Okay. Wow, look at the pages. They're like a super cool, like recycled material. Isn't it cool? You can actually see like the layers of books that were sewn inside of it. It almost looks like chapters. <gasps> it could be chapters. It could be themes. Each one could be like an individual like book and be like a theme. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is going to be so much fun, but you can see the paper is like a, it's hard to tell on camera, but it's like an old vintage recycled, recycled paper. It's cream, almost beige in color on camera. It's definitely coming up more of a cream color in person. I would say it's borderline beige. Whoa, there's something in here. <gasps> what is this? Oh my gosh, what is this? It says, dear customer, thank you so much for giving us a chance to serve you with your order. Aw. Cool. That's very nice. And then it gives you care instructions. because it's real leather. And then this, do you guys think this is a bookmark? This might be a bookmark so you like remember where you left off, right? Kind of like that. Let's see, does that make sense? Hold on. Yeah, I think so, right? Like that? I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know, I think it's a bookmark. I didn't know I was getting like a special surprise with it. <laughs> But it's a beautiful, beautiful, like, brown, like, leather. Oh, now my neighbor's going to do work on their yard. Between the airplanes and my neighbor. This is a daytime video, too. Like, what are you doing on your yard? Go away. And then I guess I just, like, tuck it in. I'll get the hang of it, you guys. Something like that. Anyways, I didn't do it as perfectly as they did, but... Isn't this going to be a fun project? This is very cool. Do you think it's a bookmark? Look, it's like scratched up, but I love it. It's like wear and tear, right? Anyways, you guys, that's it for me. This video is kind of janky because I feel like rushed and I hate that feeling, but my kids are back in school and I have to take these moments when I can get them to make a video for you. That's kind of just where I'm at now in my life. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to make videos soon where I actually make pages in here. I think I'll do a couple on my own, not on camera, to get the hang of it. And then we can do some together. I'm also probably going to do a whole video where I just like doodle with those journal pens because they're really cool and they work really well. But anyways, if you guys want to see more from me, please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye.